When you think of Marie Curie, you think of groundbreaking science, Nobel Prizes, and a relentless pursuit of knowledge. But there's a fascinating and somewhat eerie aspect to her legacy. Many of her personal belongings, including her notebooks, are still radioactive today. Born Maria Sklodowska in Poland, Marie Curie dedicated her life to studying radioactivity, a term she herself coined. Alongside her husband Pierre, she isolated two new elements, polonium and radium. Their work revolutionized physics and medicine, leading to treatments for cancer and the development of X-rays. However, in an era before the dangers of radiation were fully understood, Marie worked with these highly radioactive materials extensively, often carrying samples in her pockets or keeping them in her desk drawers. Her laboratories were filled with radioactive dust. She even noted the pretty fairy-like glow of her samples at night. Tragically, this constant exposure took its toll. Marie Curie died in 1934 from a plastic anemia, a condition now recognized as being caused by radiation exposure. Today, nearly a century after her death, her notebooks, papers, furniture, and even her cookbook from the 1890s are still highly contaminated. They are stored in lead line boxes at the Bibliothèque Nationale in Paris and require special protective gear for anyone wishing to view them. Researchers who handle her materials must wear full protective suits, masks, and gloves. It's a powerful and poignant reminder of the immense sacrifices Marie Curie made for science. Her relentless dedication not only unlocked some of the universe's most profound secrets, but also left an indelible and radioactive mark on her personal belongings. Her legacy literally glows with the very elements she discovered.